It's Tuesday. That could mean only one thing. We ain't done one in a while. A long while. So let's do a two minute Tuesday. So what are we gonna talk about? Question I've been asked a couple of times already. A few, two, three, something like that. And uh, it seems to be very popular in the Southeast. And I've been asked why I don't use one. So let's talk about them. Lemon gates. Why don't we use them? Why do they seem to be popular in the South? Or anywhere on a logging site? And uh, why don't I use one? So, lemon gates. What is a de-lemon gate? Let's add two minutes on the clock. Maybe we can keep it under that. And let's go over what de-lemon gates are. So a de-lemon gate is a gate of metal. And I'll insert a picture here showing what one looks like. We have one. I think we actually have two. Can't remember. But anyway, a de-lemon gate is a bunch of pipe welded together usually with squares a bunch of pipe welded together with a bunch of little small basically the ones that are popular are squares uh usually around 16 inches or so the big gate's huge like like they're they're probably 12 i've seen some probably 16 feet wide uh, they're probably six to eight feet tall, made out of, like I said, super heavy duty thick metal. So what they do, some of them are what they call freestanding, some of them you have to chain up to trees, but you'll take them out here and you'll chain them up or you'll tie them to a tree, however you want to talk about it. Usually you pick two real nice trees at the back side of your setter if you're doing a clear cut, just kind of out in, away from your loader. And as your skitter runs the trees over in the woods, he will bring them up and kind of jackknife in front of the lemon gate and then back the trees through the D lemon gate. It worked really well, more especially in like the timber we're in right now. It would work really well here. But you run into two things. Well, yeah, two things. One, you have to make your set extremely big and the timber company did not like that. Two, it's rough on u joints and bearings and bushings and the skitter. It's just hard on the machine because you're not only just backing that wood up, but you're like ramming and jamming and um, it's just it's not that economically friendly with the skitter. So single tires don't get as many, but with us running, the, why I don't run one, we run duels year round. So with us running the duels year round, that keeps it to where uh, the, the trees, are, you know, the, the tires are covering a lot of area of the trees and, and I don't have to worry with, you know, a lemon gate because most of my trees are lemon gated or however you want to put it. They're run over enough in the woods that I don't have to worry about it because, you know, everything's everything's knocked off out there so they're very popular still in the southern united states especially the southeast area i still see lots of people using them there's nothing wrong with them it's just another method of logging uh, for us staying in thinning applications all the time and the wood if you go to get into smaller timber like we get into your skitter the skitters have gotten so big anymore they'll either break the gate or they'll break the wood that was another one of the things why we quit using it because the gates they could not withstand the forces that the bigger skitters were starting to put on back when we had like the 660 timberjack skitters so we had to go to something uh you know, we i mean we always had pull throughs but we just started using the pull throughs because the, the skitter knocked you know trying to do most of our dealing with the pull throughs because most of the limbs are knocked off in the woods by the skitter so that's what a d lemon gate is it's a gate full of metal with little squares inside of it that's set up out in the woods tied to trees usually and the skitter is backing his wood through it and knocking the limbs off 
to where they're, I mean, literally, there's like, whenever whenever we used them, the loader didn't even have to have a a, uh, a CTR, top and saw, whatever you want to call it, because I mean, it was it was done for it uh, when it got here. But 90%, I mean, y'all can watch my loader work over there, 90% of the, the limbs are going off of the trees by the time it gets here. So, we, mac we reduced our footprint in the areas that we were logging. The locations are smaller where we're having to set up sets and stuff because we don't have to jackknife around with so much wood. And you, you know, especially getting a little bit smaller stuff, uh, when you start backing that wood through there and then you start pushing those trees down, then you have to reset it up on two more trees and, and then you push those trees down. I mean, you may set a gate up like three or four times over you know one set one 40 acre set spot so it's just uh it's a different way of logging it's a different different method still very popular nothing wrong with it uh it gets the job done for my special in a clear cut i would probably have a lemon gate because it would uh it would help i would think uh so yeah that's a d lemon gate did i keep it under two minutes Maybe, I don't know. I didn't look at my start time. That's what I was trying to look at right there. Overall record time, we're at like eight minutes. But that includes all the intro and everything y'all just saw before this. And there's lots of pauses and edits. You won't see! All you'll see is a... Oh my God, that's an awesome video! <laughs> so anyway, that's a lemon gate. I've got to go back to work. I'm busting my tail this morning hopping between the skitter and the rubber tire. I think I need to go cut some wood for Matthew because I just caught him with the 620. Me and Michael, we we tag teamed him and caught him. So, so uh, we're having a really good day though. Uh, it's a rare double post together video day. This is going to be even shorter than yesterday. I'm going to try and keep this one to about five minutes to max. So hopefully y'all enjoy this little quick video. Uh, describing what is a D lemon gate and uh, y'all leave some comments below on other things like this you would like to see that we use out here that you don't know what it is I'll talk about it we'll we'll make little small segment two minute Tuesdays like this for I mean if you want to know why we run fat tracks on our track machine ask it I'll tell you you want to know why our tires look different on the machines? Why one tire is bigger than the other? Ask it. We'll do a little segment like this. If you want to know why Mickey's so ugly, ask it. We'll go talk to him. We'll do a two-minute Tuesday segment. Anyway, we're out of here. Appreciate everybody. Make sure you go like the video. Drop a comment down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. That would greatly appreciate it would help me out a bunch and uh, if you're not subscribed to any of the other logging YouTube people like like Cotton Top or Bobby Goodson or Logger Wade um, uh, or Stump Jumper there's several of them probably I'm still missing but if anybody else you watch on YouTube that's logging related and you're not you're not subscribed subscribe it's free it's free and then you can get notifications whenever we post stuff so anyway I appreciate that I'm going back. Actually, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. And then I'm going to go back to work. That's what I'm going to do. So anyway. Y'all uh, y'all keep it classy. Keep it easy going. Keep on logging. And I'm going to keep on logging. And we just keep the world logging. Making paper products and lumber products. Till the next one. Until. Until the next one. We'll catch y'all next time.